good morning everyone uh, it is my pleasure to introduce our speaker today who is going to talk to us about the entrepreneurship skill attitude and behavior development dr ramesh mittal is post graduate from commerce and he has done a lot of post graduate diplomas in various field like entrepreneurship post graduate diploma in business management and uh, specialization in major marketing minor finance sir is also done his phd from business administration dr mittal has worked almost 30 years at national and international level in various organization that is private sector company semi government and government institution he is also worked as a trainer faculty researcher consultant and a motivator he is a educationist and a strategist he has joined niam as deputy director in the year 2005 with a job profile of research consultancy educational and training he was also associated with many projects that is with usaid usda michigan state university world bank ada multi state agriculture competitiveness project etc as per the invitation he has also presented country paper on supply chain management at thailand country paper on competitive supply chain management it at vietnam and brand management of agriculture produced through gi at tokyo japan and also visited university california usa to understand usaid as a ms project recently he has been invited as an expert resource person to address value chain management marketing at south korea seoul his area of specialization in marketing hr finance entrepreneurship and strategic management and agriculture marketing he has also written more than 100 research papers article and write ups in the various newspaper and journals he has contributed in five research project and organized more than 200 training programs in all over the country so this is our pleasure to invite you sir thank you so much for accepting my invitation and come in a very short time period thank you sir thank you madam shall we start the program yes sir <coughs> so first of all i would like to uh, say thanks to the purnima institute management uh, faculty uh, vice chancellor directors and uh, all the stakeholders who has given me this opportunity to uh, talk about on this workshop exclusively on entrepreneurship development which consists entrepreneurship skill attitude and behavior i also thanks to the audience students and participants participants who are attending this program and we know very well purnima is a uh, like premier institute and so it has name and fame not only in rajasthan even pan india basis entrepreneurship uh, is now these days is basically i would like to say it's a buzzword but uh, let us go through with the entrepreneurship slowly and my request is it should not i mean you should not feel like it's a lecture or presentation please interact wherever it is required and uh, let me ask you like my presentation is pretty visible i mean it's quite visible yes sir okay great thank you so uh, like uh, till 12 o'clock we are together and <coughs> uh, english is comfortable or shall i mix english and hindi sir both way you can go no problem sir okay now now it is up to the students because some students from the outside rajasthan na maybe south india they don't understand hindi actually that is why 
Yes, sir. But uh, let me. My presentation is exclusively in English, but I'll try to put up some word in Hindi also to to make them more understandable. So uh, you know, today's topic is basically entrepreneurship skills, attitude, and behavior development. Now, if you look at, uh, although India is a uh, like land of Marwadi entrepreneurship, if you look at, more than 60-70 percent economy is basically goes to the Marwadi entrepreneurs, and those are, uh, I mean, roots from Rajasthan only. And that is very very interesting. But if you look at the across the world. Entrepreneurship development percentage is basically decided the ratio which country comes under which economy. For example, uh, look at U.S. and Western Europe, Korea, South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore. These are the upcoming economies basically, and so called it is developed nation. So if you look at these nations, these nations are pretty good. In entrepreneurship development, if you look at the percentage over there, that is pretty high. But the country like India, Asian countries like the developing countries, all under the category of developing nations, they are little behind. But credit goes to the the government. They have taken the initiation to start this entrepreneurship across the country. And since last, I believe, ten years, we could see a, a, a steady growth, gradual growth. in the field of entrepreneurship development so this is very interesting subject and so like uh, good for the future also it is not like that after your completion of this uh, education program immediately you can go for the entrepreneurship and otherwise as a mid career you can choose entrepreneurship to become entrepreneur furthermore now entrepreneurial behavior and attitude Uh, you know behavior and attitude plays very very important role when you go for the job or when you go for the set up setting up of enterprise or you want to go for the startup culture anything behavior and attitude matters even you know when you go for the placement and the company's officials are asking to you many questions at the time of campus placement or maybe when you apply for any kind of position then also behavior and attitude plays very very important role so uh, you know like we need to understand what is behavior and we need to understand what is attitude now what is an attitude how do i get one basically it is not a commodity so you can go and buy your attitude simply i think surrounding you maybe in your college university or at home or in your peer group uh you used to say i mean you used to hear uh, like this boy has positive attitude this girl has positive attitude and this boy uh, has no no positive attitude like he is a negative person something you know some comments basically these comments are coming uh, from the air basically and uh, why we are saying one should have positive attitude and why we are saying people are having this negative attitude this is based on our behavior so behavior is very very important how do you behave whether you are in a helping nature whether you are in positive whether you are negative whether you are optimistic hmm? whether you are pessimistic and what do you think about any kind of project or any kind of uh, you know research activity or maybe any kind of plan suppose uh, we are having one workshop or many questions are coming but you look at some people they always ask negative questions or they always ask rather than negative i should say <coughs> they always ask questions with some question mark suppose <coughs> look at the uh, this pandemic corona covid 19 some people are saying you know the there is i mean uh, this world is going to finish because of this covid but some people are saying no no our scientist will go and they go for the good kind of research they'll they'll have some good medicines they'll have some good injections or lot of remedies will come but people are saying you know 
मैनी पीपल यू यूज टू हियर हमने बहुत बार सुना होगा बहुत सारे लोगों ने कहा आज तक एच का टीका नहीं बना और बहुत सारे ऐसी वायरल्स हैं उनका टीका नहीं बना फ्लू का टीका नहीं बना तो कोविड का कहां से बनेगा वट यू फुल लुक एट दैट इज द बेसिकली एटीट्यूड विद इन टू ईयर नॉट ओनली फ्रॉम इंडिया अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड मैनी काइंड ऑफ वैक्सीनेशन हैज कम मैनी काइंड ऑफ मेडिसिन हैज कम एंड ऑल दो कोविड हैज लाइक द डेथ डेथ टोल ऑफ कोविड इज क्वाइट हाई बट स्टिल आफ्टर दिस थर्ड वेव इफ यू लुक एट द पीपल आर बेसिकली सर्वाइव so so called it is attitude it is based on our behavior so we should be optimistic when we want to grow when we are entering in a new world when we want to start our life one should be very very positive if you are not positive then the life is very much difficult when we are growing when we are moving further you can see many hurdles many obstacles will come in your life you are some people are away from home they are going for the higher studies they have to earn their bread and butter you know in the evening they have to work they have to pay their fee i mean there are n number of issues but still they are strong and their attitude is positive their behavior is calm and they are thinking towards creativity so the idea generation and creativity these are two things and you can use this creativity and idea generation when your attitude is positive when your behavior is good submissive when you are in helping nature when you are ready to work in team when you are ready to admire others when you are ready to appreciate others when you are ready to work hard day and night when you are ready to try again once you are failed so these things basically comes under the attitude and the behavior now nature and origin of attitude an attitude is a person's evolution positive or negative of a person object or idea so attitude means it could be negative it could be positive basically based on his characteristic we are going to evaluate is positiveness or negativeness why we need to understand this attitude because if you want to be entrepreneur you need to be positive and you need to be struggler you need to be ready to work for extra hours you need to be idea generation you need to be creative these are the you know things you have to have in your attitude otherwise you cannot be a entrepreneur now look at look at the tata empire look at the birla empire look at the other good entrepreneurs their empire they they have not given a thought to control each and everything by them only they have given the free chance free time to their colleagues to grow their attitude was positive they, they their usual policy was to forgive others to encourage all the people something like that so attitude can be based on more on one component than others so we need to develop our attitude and for the best way is basically you can go for the swot analysis swot analysis is strength weakness threat and opportunity so whatever strength you have try to use that whatever weakness you have you know weakness is not easy to observe weakness is the point basically others can observe your colleagues your friends your family your peer group your teachers they can follow they can look at your weaknesses and whenever they are telling you your weaknesses do not take them in a wrong way you should appreciate someone is telling your weaknesses and you have enough time to improve your weaknesses or you may be come out from that weakness same like threat and opportunity world is full of opportunity basically it is up to you how you people are looking at some threats may be converted into opportunity look at this covid again i am giving you example of this covid pandemic why because we have also gone through we have all gone through with this covid pandemic now that was great threat for this earth not only for india not for only for rajasthan not only for jaipur 
but it was great threat for the earth and you know what happened this threat has been converted by opportunities by whom who are positive in attitude <coughs> their behavior is good and they have converted into opportunity lot of things has been sold lot of new business has been set up lot of empire has been made new millionaire billionaire has come up in this covid period why it has happened because of the attitude only so entrepreneurial trait or competencies which are required i mean it's not like that you know entrepreneur should be highly qualified or maybe particular age or particular gender or something like that but some traits or some competencies are required to be an successful entrepreneur what are that like initiation initiative you you must go for the any kind of initiation like you know you look at your class some 60 students are you know studying some students are uh, they, they take initiation let us organize this conference let us organize this workshop let us do something new let us invite our teacher let us ask some questions to the teacher let us start some new project this is what this is initiative so someone has to take initiative second is looking for opportunities people who are looking for the opportunities an opportunity may be converted into a enterprise look at the oyo brand oyo brand that entrepreneur basically <coughs> he was engineer he did not complete his engineering but he was looking for the opportunity when he saw the opportunity in between he left the education and joined that opportunity then persistence one should able to persist for their idea for their approach and optimistic also then information seeker it is not like that we people are always talkative we just want to tell our things you know uh, we we just want to communicate our things we don't want to listen to others we don't want to gather information we don't want to read newspaper we don't want to new uh, you know go through with the news on business channels we have a lot of information is available and sometime half cooked information is harmful for our project or any kind of enterprise then quality conscious sometimes you know chalta hai it is okay humne question ka answer aadha adhura likh diya now we are seeking full marks so this chalta hai practice is not good we should be quality conscious until unless we will not produce look at like for example indian administrative services indian civil services if you look at the same question now uh, people say the grabbing the uh, like marks is in the student's hand it is not in the teacher's hand why it is so why it is so because sup suppose six students are writing the same answer now the matter is basically which answer is quality answer the quality answer will fetch highest marks and non quality answer will fetch the lowest mark same is in the entrepreneurship if you are entrepreneur or you are producing your product and if you are not quality conscious obviously you could not send sell your product i was in usa i could see lot of bakery items and cookies and biscuits are imported from across the world but things were not imported from india why it was because indian cookies the packaging is poor not at par not proper labeling even cookies taste wise ingredient wise there is not international quality so like the quality matters uh, I, i used to hear from the uh, people like this shirt is uh, available in india in 500 rupees same shirt is available in usa uh, at the rate of uh, 50 dollar which is somewhere like 3500 rupees it is not like that 3500 means superior quality although material is same stitching is quality buttons and other things are also quality packing is also quality and that is why what we are saying is a quality product but in india we people are not considering quality as a parameter and that is why we are uh, you know not very good at the time of this international <coughs> trade performance if you look at india share in international trade which is very marginal and it is it has happened because of the poor quality products then commitment to work now commitment to work so basically you look at people who are going to the overseas as a labor also or maybe the senior but they they are not surviving because they they, they do not go for the proper work there is no commitment 
for the work our labor is also not commitment for the work and that is why we are not able to produce the quality for the entrepreneurship commitment to work is also required then it is not only work it is affiliated with efficiency also commitment to work and sir sorry for interruption but ppd has not change yeah we yeah are on first slide yeah only first slide i am using only first slide still i'll i'll change later on okay 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 Okay, so the, thank you, sir. Thank uh, you. Sorry for interruption. Yeah. Okay, okay. So the proper planning is also required. Self confidence is also required. Assertiveness, perseverance, effective monitoring, employee welfare, effective strategist. I mean, these are indicative entrepreneurial trait. We have to improve our traits. We have to improve our competencies if you want to become entrepreneur. now i just change the slide developing entrepreneurial competencies now the question is how to develop entrepreneurial competency gaining first hand knowledge about the competencies you know we should not think we have enough knowledge and we are at par with anyone try to gain more knowledge about the competency then competency recognition whatever competency you have developed in yourself other should see and recognize that is also required people should admire people should appreciate yes something change is visible in you you are disciplined person you are coming on time you are working hard you are working towards efficiency working towards commitment these practices should be visible only and people should give you remarks on that then self assessment you should be able to go for the self assessment because self assessment is a very critical and we are not ready to listen our weaknesses but once we go for the self assessment we should know what are the our weaknesses whether we have overcome all, all these weaknesses or not then comparing of competencies like others competency and your competency suppose someone has a successful entrepreneur you look at uh, with the your age maybe he was your neighbor or he was studying with your in in the institute or maybe in the university you look at whether you are at par with him or not where you are behind where you are ahead something like that then developing of competencies and take the feedback also feedback is must you take this feedback from your teachers take the feedbacks from your parents from your brother sister and from your friends also as well as the commercial relationship with people Now, who's an entrepreneur now question comes in who's an entrepreneur to whom we can say he is entrepreneur now that we will see further but let us see what is entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is the basically process of designing launching running a new business now look at when existing business a copy paste of existing business is not entrepreneurship or maybe a successful profit making business launching of successful profit profit making business is not entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is something innovative with a new idea and with calculated risk so the capacity and willingness to develop organize and manage a business venture along with any of its risk in order to make profit so risk should be calculated it should not be wild risk like you know in share market what we do some others has been purchased and you are also purchasing based on his tip basically but it's not fair you have to understand you have to go for the your own calculation then you decide so risk should be yours it is not like that others are thinking and you are playing in the market and then you are saying you know i have played on basis on on his risk so his risk no existence your risk always available and ultimate you have to make profit if you are not making profit then it is not right kind of entrepreneurship or maybe you are failed so the entrepreneurship and entrepreneur you accept this risk and responsibilities of business ownership entrepreneur who's who's entrepreneur an individual who undertake the creation organization uh, organization and ownership of a business a person as a individual who is ready to take a new idea a new creation or a new organization or a ownership of a business where he can make profit 
by having this calculated risk. That is entrepreneurship comes under. And what is entrepreneur that I have already told you. Now, entrepreneurship is like creating and running a business venture required a variety of skills. When you want to run a business, you need to have variety of skills because when you go for the job, then no variety of skills are required. Basically, you are civil engineer, then you have to perform in civil area. If you are IT, uh, you know, software engineer, then you have to perform in IT only. If you are mechanical engineer, then you have to perform only in mechanical. So if you are electronic, electrical, whatever it is. So that limited skills are required when you are joining job. But if you are entrepreneur, then various type of skills are required. Venture, a new business undertaking that involve risk basically. So every kind of venture, every kind of business has risk. If you are introducing something new, some with some innovation, good, good ideas, new ideas, then you are inviting more risk. But that risk should be calculated. Now look at this photo. Who's an entrepreneur? Jeff Bezos, founder, chairman of and chief executive of the Amazon. Now look at this Amazon.com. He's a real entrepreneur across the world. He has opened his new venture. His idea was creative. And you know, when he has introduced this Amazon.com, that time India has a debate. And what kind of debate? Debate was whether we Indians prefer to buy on e-commerce platform. You know what happened? We said Indians will not buy because we prefer to go to the showroom or maybe the marketplace. We want to touch the product. We want to see the product. We want to feel the product. So this concept will not be very, very successful. But look at today. Amazon.com, not only in India, even across the world, it is very successful new idea business. And this has, you know, enhanced the e-commerce business, not only in India, even on pan world basis. So who's entrepreneur? Entrepreneurs like Jeff Bezos. So he has one particular skill. He has, you know, able to identify the gap in the market. He thought the market is feasible and available on e-commerce. If I sell, people will buy. Now the interesting part is, Amazon is not a manufacturer. Amazon is only supply chain e-commerce platform. He is procuring. He is associating with the manufacturer and supplier, and he is delivering things to the customer. So, so innovative idea, new idea, very successful idea, and based on that, just like on Amazon, if you look at the many other e-commerce platforms as maybe like Flipkart, maybe like Snapdeal. And these are popular, but otherwise, many more are working in this country in the small formats, different like Gophers. Now the name has been changed uh, and this big basket. So each and every field, each and every area. Now it is a sector specific automobile, insurance companies, bankings. So you just name it. Now new e-commerce platforms are coming. So people are looking like Paytm, look, Bharat Pay, Shadi.com. Like these are all e-commerce platform, but people have applied their mind. They are creative and that is why they have started. And if you today's look, these are all multi-millionaire, multi-billionaire people. Some of them are unicorn and they are working very well. Then look at who's an entrepreneur. Piyush Bansal, founder of Lankstart. Uh, look at when he was trying to sell his, uh, you know, uh, this frame. Sir, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Sir, your PPT is not changed. Still, it is one. Oh, then something is wrong. Let me see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now it is Piyush Bansal. Yes, sir. Have you come? Yes, sir. Now it's working. Now it's working. Yes, sir. Now it is full screen. Are yes, full sir. screen? Hai? Hanji, sir. Achha, okay, thank you. Uh, so look at now, look at this Piyush Banshat. He has changed the concept. We have to say that 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 we have to say that
स्टोर पे जाएंगे विल विल चेक द आईज एंड देन हम उसको चश्मे को लगाएंगे देखेंगे कौन सा फ्रेम अच्छा है एंड बेस्ड ऑन आवर चॉइस विल बाय दैट बट ही हैज चेंज द थ्योरी ही वाज प्रीटी मच इनोवेटिव लुक एट व्हाट ही हैज डन इट ही हैज बेस्ड ऑन दिस इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स ही हैज डिजाइंड अ ऐप एंड दैट ऐप इज नाउ यू जस्ट फोकस फॉर अ फ्यू सेकंड एंड यू कैन हैव लॉट ऑफ फ्रेम्स ऑन योर आईज एंड यू कैन चूज एनी फ्रेम and he will give it to you like which type of your face face is like oval round or rectangular rectangular whatever it is so immediate you are getting you need not to go to anywhere and based on your choice and he has given the very i mean the profit margin is very less and he is today like is a billionaire person so look at amazon.com same kind of electronic platform he has converted in a different kind of opportunity and people were saying at the time of he is going to fail 101% he is going to fail now today if you look at he is pretty much successful and he is adding some more production is basket so so like remarkable entrepreneur now look at who is this he is mr lakshmi mittal he is the founder of this r seller mittal one of the biggest company across the world not only in india across the world as a steel king now what he has seen how he has grown is autobiography is required to read him he is a, he is a, he is a different type of entrepreneur and he, let me tell you what is his strategy his practice is basically he is moving around the world and he is looking at the steel plants which steel plants which are sick steel plants and they are closed they are not functioning they are not able to run they are in dark they are in loss such kind of steel plants he is you know looking at across the world and after purchasing or after taking the proper 51% of the share holding in that plant he is restarting that plant so he is a king of acquisition and merger he knows how to acquire and how to merge and how to restart that steel plant and due to his ability he is a different kind of entrepreneur different his he, he he has lot of traits and that is why he is one of the most successful person why it is so because making steel is not a joke running a steel plant is not a easy thing you need to have lot of investment and he is introducing and look at it's a very bulky thing steel is not a uh, like easy is supply chain of steel is very difficult manufacturing of steel is a complex purchasing or procuring raw material is again it's a very serious issue so it is not a like you know making a glass or crockery or say like small uh, 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 this smartphone steel is something different it is you know like infrastructure related uh, item product and he has proved himself that i am a very successful entrepreneur and if you look at go through with this lifestyle and and biography you will come to know how he has gone for the struggle and he is from the rajasthan say uh, uh, near this churu churu district very small town he went to the kolkata one for the study in st javier's college and after that he has started his business and look at how he is moving further <clears throat> look at this rahul bajaj now he has thought about this bajaj scooter and you know like 30 40 years he was the leader in market now later on this scooter has come to the plc like product life cycle at the level of obsolescence like Uh, the growth has stopped and uh, like scooter was obsolete in the market and our youngster they they were just preferring this bike not scooter so that scooter industry has gone down and the manufacturing of this bajaj stopped <coughs> and that time in 38 1938 to almost 2000 or something like that people were saying मेरा बजाज उसका बजाज उनका बजाज इनका बजाज हमारा बजाज 
that kind of slogan we had as a marketing he was very successful entrepreneur but later on not today he is again grabbing this opportunity and his scooter which was you know run by the petrol he has converted into the electric scooter because now these days electric technology is available so many other two wheelers are coming in that technology he has also introduced his bajaj scooter as a electric scooter so the new life he has given to his scooter company so what is so called the called is like entrepreneur who can see the opportunity which is available right now so he is immediately he has grab that opportunity he said when people are making car uh, ev cars like electrical vehicle cars then why not a scooter and again that bajaj scooter has started his operation and successfully he has you know selling his scooters as a ev scooter now look at these top 10 successful entrepreneurs in india this is just indicative list look at vijay shekhar sharma ptm ditesh agarwal oyo hmm? mr aroda shrikant bola tirubai ambani ratan tata narayan murthy ganesham das birla ajay masan prem ji brajmohan lal munjal i think you are all familiar now here you look at if you look at their qualification if you look at their age if you look at their caste no match at all no match i am not going to give you their lifestyle history here my my research is different my research is basically you look at if you look at their educational background you will find all are from the different kind of background even some of them are dropped out they need not to be engineer they need not to be doctor some of them has changed their profession also look at their age some of them are very young like ritesh and trishneet arora shrikant bhola and some of them are pretty experienced ajim hasan prem ji ratan tata dhirubhai ambani prajwan lal munjal but one thing is very common their trait for this entrepreneurship development and that is why they are the top 10 successful entrepreneurs in india so my request is just look at just go through you will find something good in their lifestyle their working their traits and therefore they are not a job seeker they are job provider it is up to up it is up to us <clears throat> like whether we want to become job seeker or we want to become job provider now look at this top 10 women entrepreneurs in india it is not like gender it is not like age it is not like qualification it is not like family background leave it you will find diversity each and every case is different kiran shah founder of biocon hmm? anisha singh founder of mydala online coupons sharda sharma founder of your story hmm? she is from patna look at the pune delhi patna surat mumbai kota indor geographical area different area of interest is different age is different qualification is different hmm? upasna taku mobivik fintech falguni nair naika beauty products vandana luthra vlcc niru sharma infi beam e-commerce malaika sodani the moms company e-commerce gazal kalra rivigo logistic nishaba godrej consumer products so basically if you look at the background of these entrepreneurs maybe the woman maybe the man they are all diversified different kind of qualification different kind of family background different kind of age attitude 
But the one thing which is very common, their behavior is submissive, their attitude is positive, and they are able to take calculated risk in the new venture. They have some good ideas, they have some creativity, and that is why they have started new business. So I believe such glimpses are enough for you to understand. Now, why enter entrepreneurship? Basically, we are looking for the job or maybe a venture. So after completion of the our education, we need to decide where we want to go for the job or where whether we want to go for the job or we want to set up our business. When we are looking for the job, then again, lot of pros and cons. Out of you, you may uh, thinking like, I want to join only this company, maybe in Pune, maybe in Bangalore, maybe in Jaipur. If I'm not getting, I'll not work. Sometimes you do not like the environment. Sometimes you do not like the work. Sometimes you do not like the pay packages. Sometimes your family problem. Sometimes your father, mother problem. Sometimes your kids problem. Answer is one, entrepreneurship. Because in job, you don't have many choice. Limited choice. And one more thing in jobs. Jobs earning is a limit basically. Today you may be offered 10 lakh rupees. Tomorrow 20. After 30 years, maybe 1 crore. Then what next? You are not able to move more than 1 crore. But in entrepreneurship, no sky limit. Not 1 crore, 1000 crore, 10,000 crore, maybe 1 crore. Depends on your thinking, your progress, your creativity, your innovation. Then again, profit. Now look at, let me tell you, why entrepreneurship? Profit. Profit. Why profit? Profit is because, look this. When you are working for any company, believe me, you need to earn at least three times what you are getting. You need to earn three times what you are getting. Suppose you are getting one lakh rupee per month. It means you have to earn at least three to four lakh rupees per month for the company. If you are not doing like that, you will be out company will not feel you are a good fellow for the company. Ultimately, company will ask you to quit the job because you are not adding value for the growth of the company. Now, look at when today you are working 10 to 5 or maybe 9 to 7 for a company and you are earning three times for that company, then what next? Then what next? The next is basically, if you work for yourself, you can extend your, you know, hours, not only six hours, even 12 hours, 13 hours, 15 hours, 24 hours, something like that. And obviously, if you are working for your company and you are earning 4 lakh rupees per month for the company, obviously, when you are working for yourself, you are able to earn double the money, like maybe 8 lakh rupees per month or maybe 10 lakh rupees per month because you are working for yourself. You are working for the extended hours. It is your business. You are worried about your growth. In job, you are not worried about your company's growth. Simply, you are working with a limited liability and limited salary. It is like that. So, entrepreneurship versus entrepreneurial. So entrepreneurship is the process of recognizing an opportunity, testing it in the market, and gathering resources necessary to go into business. The process of recognizing an opportunity, testing it in the market, and gathering resources necessary to go to into business. Or entrepreneurial means acting like an entrepreneur or having an entrepreneurial mindset. So these are two different words. If your mindset is like that, obviously you can go for the entrepreneurship and you can become entrepreneur. These are three words. 
entrepreneurial entrepreneurship and entrepreneur if you have your mindset like entrepreneurial mindset acting like an entrepreneur or having an entrepreneurial mindset like look at some students who are sitting in the classroom when they move out of the classroom one or two they want to switch off the lights one or two they want to switch off fan one or two they are very much careful about the furniture one or two they are very much careful about the lcd and other peripherals which are lying in the classroom it means they have entrepreneurial mindset they are positive they are not destructive they they value the things they know uh, such things are require lot of money to buy so they are they, they believe in sharing and caring so they are the right person to go for the entrepreneurship that is something like that so that is observation right and what is entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is like why is owning and operating a business today much different than the past the global marketplace and information technology have opened a new market if you look at 10 years ago 20 years ago such kind of opportunities were not exist people were not getting lot of opportunity world was limited things were limited no creativity fund finance was not available market was not available human resource was not available technology was not available but today you think about any business finance is available marketing marketplace is available you can decide like the physical market as well as the e-commerce market online market one can sitting at home from a small room can start a business look at the swiggy and zomato they have given the ample opportunity for a person who has a room only 5 by 5 room the person who knows the good recipe how to make samosa and he has one room which is 5 by 5 small room he is making samosa whole day and selling these samosa through swiggy and zomato and he is able to sell more than 10000 samosas in a day suppose 1 rupee per samosa he is earning how much per day 10000 rupees per day which service which company you are going to get 10000 rupees per day with the potential of expansion also so that is what entrepreneurship credit goes to the today's environment and that is why it is happening then the question how do entrepreneurs relate to the economy this is also very important why it is so country like india the economy which is growing economy country is stable our interest rates are low you can get the bank loan on the right kind of otherwise when economy is weak the interest rate is pretty high and on the higher interest rate if you are taking loan or maybe the venture capital fund or any kind of fund then it is very difficult to repay and you may be failure hmm? so right now our interest rates are at par with the usa and other countries in european union so people aren't not putting their money in the banks they want to invest they are earning profit margin is good enough and that is why new entrepreneurship is coming inside now entrepreneurship is today knowledge of economics contribute to an understanding of how entrepreneurs and customers interact economics yes. means basically economics means even a, huh? study of, a study of how people allocate scarce resource to fulfill their unlimited wants today, today country like india is full of resources you need any kind of expert advice you need money you need land you need plant and machinery you need technology you just ask things are available on very competitive prices also so what entrepreneurs contribute entrepreneurs basically they contribute to turns demand into supply provide venture capital provide jobs promote changes in society create more wants and choices also i remember uh, 20 years ago or maybe 30 years ago 
the scooters bajaj scooters were available on booking like you need to book and after 2 year 3 year your number is coming basically good television and refrigerators and coolers and things were not available mobile good mobile phones were not available good clothing was not available not today you just ask each and everything is available in this country credit goes to the entrepreneurship development basically entrepreneur the entrepreneur is the driving force of the startup process now today you look at we are saying like people youngsters are coming up with the startup the new startup ecosystem has been developed and just because because of the the driving force is an entrepreneur and driving force due to this good driving force many kind of startup ecosystem has come up or many incubation centers are working across the country grants are available and full like the crowd funding angel funding various kind of funding is also available equity funding you have gone through with this shark tank look at this problem uh, this uh, program got so popular for a month like all other programs people were not interested to watch it shows our youth has lot of interest in startup eco system an opportunity a good opportunity can be turned into a business idea plus a market is equal to opportunity if you have good idea and the market india is the biggest market across the world after china 130 crore people their need their wants exist various type various type of caste religion people language folklore culture dress eating habits gender you just segment it's a great opportunity i believe and that is why country like india we do not feel any recession when world is moving further how entrepreneurs can succeed so basically the plan and manage effectively assemble an expert team to execute the business concept test the opportunity in the marketplace recognize opportunity these are like four steps like initially start from the first letter which is recognized opportunity then test the opportunity in the marketplace then assemble an expert team to execute the business concept then plan and manage effectively if you go in that manner i think you are very much successful entrepreneur so opportunity ample opportunity you go to any field you go to the agriculture you go to the automobile you go to the information technology go to the go to the this computer hardware system look this uh, the chip chip is like uh, uh, all kind of equipments are looking for the chip applications various type of applications are required Man, mechanical plant and machinery so like you just name it things are available opportunity is available now this covid period has created so many good new entrepreneurs food supply chain education supply chain kirana grocery supply chain medical supply chain uh, your accounting Ani, what are the your auditing accounting supply chain so these things are you know developed like anything home services are the new segment which has come as a home services car wash is available at home doctor is available at home your home cleaning is available your tank cleaning is available water tank water electricity health education cleaning fumigation medicine diagnostic services you just name it each and everything is available at home right as a covid sample people diagnostic lab is coming to your home now earlier we used to go to the diagnostic lab so this is so called it is entrepreneurial opportunity people they have decided to i'll not go fruit and vegetables vendor they are supplying fruit and vegetable at your home people were pretty much afraid of with this covid infection new segment has come not today people are booking their cars and scooters online people they are booking their uh, you know this insurance policies online 
they are making all kind of payments online so the new era has come so called it is digital era and this digital era there are ample opportunities and it is our duty to encash this opportunities by moving further so your potential as an entrepreneur why why be an entrepreneur you have to ask question with yourself why be an entrepreneur what does it take to be an entrepreneur agar aap entrepreneur kyon banna chahte hain agar aap enter ban gaye ban gaye entrepreneur to kya milega ye sare prashn humko apne aap se poochne chahiye we have to ask again again and again with ourselves you will have the answers kya answer hoga dekhi answer describe the reward of going into business for yourself describe yourself if you choose to be an entrepreneur and you have decided to move in the business what kind of reward you are going to get describe the risk of going into business for yourself simultaneously you have to think about the risk also agar aisa hoga to aisa ho jayega aisa hoga to aisa ho jayega agar main fail hua to ye ho jayega agar main success hua to ye ho jayega jo main soch raha hu agar wo mujhe mila to kya hoga such questions you need to ask yourself you have to prepare answer for yourself you have to convince yourself because it is a rigorous exercise so when you are considering owning your own business an important first step to analyze the advantage and disadvantage of entrepreneurship jab aap ye kehte hain ki mujhe apna khud ka business karna chahiye mujhe entrepreneur banna chahiye तो पहला स्टेप यह है कि हम उसके एडवांटेज और डिसएडवांटेज को एनालाइज करें कि हमको फायदा कितना होने वाला है और नुकसान कितना होने वाला है क्या हमें ज्यादा फायदा होगा या हमें नुकसान ज्यादा होगा क्या होगा अल्टीमेटली सो की टर्म कौन सी है हमको कंपटीशन फेस करना होगा वी हैव टू इन्वेस्ट वी हैव टू हैव कैपिटल ऑल्सो दीज थ्री की टर्म्स वी नीड टू एड्रेस बिकॉज अगर मान लीजिए कुछ इनोवेशन भी है इफ यू हैव समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी इनोवेटिव इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी कि दैट इनोवेशन विल कंटिन्यू एज सुन एज यू विल लॉन्च योर प्रोडक्ट इन द मार्केट सम कॉपी मेकर विल कम एंड दे विल सप्लाई सेम आइटम सेम सर्विसेज इन लेसर प्राइस टू टर्न डाउन यू देन यू हैव टू लुक एट इन्वेस्टमेंट वॉट काइंड ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट यू हैव वॉट काइंड ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट यू आर गोइंग टू हैव फ्रॉम योर पीयर ग्रुप as a crowd funding and what kind of investment you have from the government side or maybe the financial institutions then ultimate capital requirement and what percentage you are able to arrange at your level then reward of entrepreneurship suppose you have decided to take entry into entrepreneurship then what is the reward reward is being your own boss you are not working under anyone you are the boss you are the decision maker all credit goes to you all name fame all wealth all profit all expansion you are the ceo doing something you enjoy suppose you have passion to travel and you have started a travel company definitely you will enjoy your status suppose you are it person and you want to start your own company you want to have good softwares which are niche i mean demanded in the market you will enjoy then you must be creative being creative if you are not creative there is no point to think about the entrepreneurship entrepreneurs are always creative always positive being creative is very very important setting your own schedule it is not like offices start 9 o'clock office will close around 6 o'clock your schedule you may work 5 o'clock you may work 12 o'clock also i know some people 30 years ago they have started their lifestyle like early morning 6 o'clock they used to work my friends my friends they are some good entrepreneurs i have seen their life when they have started as an entrepreneur they have started their lifestyle around 6 o'clock in the morning 
and 10 o'clock till night they were working. And today, at the age of 60, you know what is their lifestyle? They start their life around 12 o'clock in the afternoon after taking breakfast. Early in the morning, they go for the walk. They have big cars, Audi, BMW, Mercedes. They have many servants. Easily they are waking up. After that, they are going for the walk. Then they are getting some good, nice breakfast. And after that, maybe one or two hours, they are going to the office. People are working. He is the CEO. He is growing many offices across the world, not only in Jaipur. Hmm? Having job security. Now, when you are working for a company, you are insecure. Anytime your job may go, company may shut down, maybe layoff, retrenchment, anything may happen. But since you are the boss of your company, you have job security. You are job provider, not a job seeker. Then making more money. Yes, as I told you, as a job, you are getting only 1 lakh rupee per month, but as an owner, you are getting 10 lakh rupee per month. Same philosophy. Being recognized in the community, yes. As an employee, you will be named, you are employee of that company. But community, suppose you are CEO, you are CEO of that company, yes, people will recognize. People recognize a money, people recognize Mr. Narayan Murthy. Same like you never know. Maybe after 10 years, after 20 years, you may reach up to that level. Then risk of entrepreneurship. What is the risk? That we should consider. With must At least we must know. So the working long hours, obviously, it is my business. I have to take care. Having an uncertain income. Yes, sometimes very less. Like initially you have started your business. If you are getting into job, you may get 1 lakh rupee per month, but when you are started your business, you may have only 20,000 rupees per month. That kind of uncertainty. But you never know. After 5 years, you may have 50 lakh rupees per month. Being fully responsible, yes. In your company, you are not responsible. Your other team members or maybe your boss or others are responsible. You are partially responsible. But in entrepreneurship, you are fully responsible because you are the owner. Rising once investment, yes. In company, you are adding value through your workmanship. But investment is rising of company, not yours. You have joined that company a total worth of 10 crore. And after 10 years, the company worth is 100 crore. But you don't have any share in 100 crore rupees. You are only employee. So, but it, if it is your company, then you, all investment is yours. So, the risk of entrepreneurship is because of intense competition. Business ownership can be a difficult undertaking. Competition, the rivalry among businessmen or consumer dollars or maybe the rupees, it is the risk of entrepreneurship. Then risk is once investment, like whatever you have invested, it may go down. Suppose you have capital of 10 lakh rupees, capital of 20 lakh rupees. If you are getting loss, continuous loss, then your total capital may go, go waste and you may insolvent yourself. That is also a big risk. The amount of money a person puts into his or her business as capital, that is on a risky affair, maybe lose or maybe double. Then an important factor of production for the entrepreneurs is acquiring capital, which is difficult one. The building equipment, tool and other goods needed to the produce a product of the money used to buy these items. And for that, we need to have capital. And it is your investment, your risk factor. So describe the reward of going into business for yourself. Describe the reward of going. You know, remember, we have asked you this question in the beginning. The answer is basically the reward are being your own boss, doing something you enjoy, having the opportunity to be creative, having the freedom to set your own schedule, having job security, making more money, and being recognized in the community. This is what you are going to 
get. Now, if you remember, we have asked you second question, describe the risk of going into business for yourself. The risk of self-employment are working long hours, having an uncertain income, being fully responsible and risking one's investment. That is second answer. I think you are able to understand what we have asked you and what is the answer. Now identify the background and characteristics and the skill of successful entrepreneur. Explain technique that will improve your potential for becoming an entrepreneur. Now this is basically second session, second part of this PPT where I'm asking you and we will give it to you answer later on in this slide also. Still we have half an hour to conclude our session, but I'll tell you how to do it. Now, before going into business, you should determine the characteristics and skill needed to reach your goals. Each and everyone has its own goal. And to achieve this goal, we, we must understand the kind of characteristics and skills which are required for the business. And now we are going to have glimpses of these skills and characteristics in this purpose. That is role model, foundation skill, profile and achiever. Now, what are those? Let us go through one by one. Who are entrepreneurs? Entrepreneurs are important to the nation economy. Researchers have done studies to determine if entrepreneurs have any trait, experience and skill in the common. Let us go through. Background. Role model. Many entrepreneurs were influenced early in, in his life by the role model. Like I have given you many, like Mr. Bajaj, Mr. Mittal, Mr. Ambani, huh? Mr. Tata, many people. Now, you may influence with anyone. The person could be a role model for you. A role model, a person with attitude and achievement that others wish to emulate. Sometimes you are influenced with your teacher. You want to become a lecturer. Maybe your principal. Maybe your vice chancellor. Sometimes you may be influenced with your canteen fellow. Now look at how nicely he is running the canteen. He is a part of again entrepreneurship. You may have dream. Very successfully he is running canteen. And he has this canteen not only in our college. Maybe in 10 colleges. He is a good entrepreneur. He is expanding his business. And total earning is somewhere like 1 crore rupees. You may also think to get into it. So sometimes role model is your canteen owner. Sometimes you are looking at, you know, the civil construction. Look at the how nicely he has constructed the building. He has its own company. He has taken contract of 10 crore rupees. He has earned 15 crore total. 5 crore rupees, which is profit. And duration was only 3 years. You may think about to become building con contractor. Something like that. So role model is very, very important. So the 12 characteristics of the successful entrepreneur, persistent, creative, responsible, inquisitive, goal-oriented, independent, self-demanding, self-confident, risk-taking, restless, action-oriented, or enthu. Uh, so these are 12 minimum characteristics one should have. If you have these characteristics, you are completely fit for entrepreneurship. You can become entrepreneur. So try to look at, try to apply these characteristics on you and assess time to time. Whether you are nearby these characteristics or you are able to develop these characteristics if you don't have. Or it is very difficult to have such characteristics. For example, goal oriented. You don't bother. You are saying I'll complete this work in 10 days and you are not completing in 20 days. This is your habit. Like independent, you are not working independent. Every time you are seeking advice from others, you are not very confident about yourself. Creative, you are not creative. You are not responsible. You are not risk taking. You are not self demanding. You are not self confident. You are work, a good worker. You are inno innovative, but you are not self confident. So try to look at where you are fit in. If you are appropriate, yes, you are on the right path of this 
entrepreneurship. Then 10 essential entrepreneurial skills. Researcher have identified 10 foundation skills need to be an successful entrepreneur. The foundation skills are the skills used in all jobs and when setting up the running a business. सभी तरह की चीजों में वो काम की है कौन कौन सी है वो भी हम देखेंगे टेन एसेंशियल एंटरप्रेन्योरियल स्किल्स वॉट आर दोज कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन का मतलब इंग्लिश नहीं है कम्युनिकेशन का मतलब है कि जो बात मैं आप तक पहुंचाना चाहता हूं क्या मैं उसको पहुंचा पाया इट डजेंट मैटर वेदर इट इज ए रीजनल लैंग्वेज मारवाड़ी हिंदी इंग्लिश माई ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड If we are not good in communication, then it is very difficult to be a successful entrepreneur. Because every day you need to discuss many type of customers and employees in your day to do day to day work. Second is maths. Maths is not like the all kind of geometric and arithmetic formulas. Maths means calculation. people are asking you for the cost of product maybe 10 pieces maybe 20 pieces 30 pieces immediately you can calculate and tell them look at the sabji mandi you go to the illiterate woman you ask for 700 gram of tomato or potato or onion or whatever it is immediately she will calculate and let you know what is the price of 700 gram and we people is still using calculator for that to to know about the price of this 700 gram i remember when i was in usa uh, i i you know purchased the lemon from one shop so i i took four lemon ha uh, so like 25 cent for each when i asked that girl you know how much i have to pay so she has taken calculator and multiplying by 25 cent into four immediately i have given 1 dollar so that is you know quick services practical services practical skills entrepreneurial skills one should know problem solving your customer will say put up many kind of problems you should be able to answer it if you are not able to answer it your case is gone then technology and computer earlier it was not required but today yes without computer and without minimum technology you cannot work smartphones and this and that wifi lan wan tan whatever you say <clears throat> decision making yes you cannot pass on decision to others you have to take decision look at this shark tank they said okay instead of 10% equity i would like to take 25% equity on the same price tell me yes or no immediately an entrepreneur said okay yes okay no this is decision making organizing and planning team work yes earlier the one person was enough to take care about the business today team work is required if you don't have team very difficult believe me very difficult the social work social impact social network being a social that is also required in the business to do not take that is why you know the csr corporate responsible uh, social responsibility has come into the picture you cannot avoid adaptability you must know the basic business it is not like you have money others will take care no some business required your basic inputs in your business otherwise people will cheat you to build your potential as an entrepreneur successful entrepreneur often fit a certain profile profile is basically a set of characteristics of qualities that idea identify a type or category of a person that you have to look at based on our discussion second is strengthen your entrepreneurial characteristics you can strengthen your entrepreneurial characteristics by reading writing observing and solving you can also think and act like an achiever achiever is a person with a record of success and 
develop your entrepreneurial skills learn the techniques needed to use the skill put the skill to work in real life situation ask yourself if you get the results you want if not determine how you can improve simply it is like dummy you put up yourself in place of that situation and think about it whether you are able to answer it or not whether it is difficult whether you have answer whether you don't have answer whether you can generate answer with the help of others the kind of uncertainty whether you are able to have the pressure suppose you don't have money now you need to have raw material so you have to borrow or you have to take raw material on due for that you need to have credit you don't have credit you don't need anyone in the market you have excess product how to sell you are getting more rejections how to come out people are complaining how to listen how to cure how to rectify you are not able to sell the product you have surplus inventory how to get rid of the product what you have it is about to obsolete how to sell sometimes you are getting large demand but production is less you are missing the opportunity your product is in demand you are not able to fulfill the demand so these are the practical things when you are working in the market how to handle such things how to move further how to address these problems we have to look at the solution whom you have to ask these are the questions and if you develop your entrepreneurial skill then i think you will have answer for each and everything if you do not develop then it is difficult so identify the background characteristics and skills of successful entrepreneur you can do uh, sorry can do attitude and desire are important successful entrepreneurs are persistent creative responsible inquisitive goal oriented independent self demanding self confident risk taking restless action oriented and enthusiastic entrepreneurs need communication skill math skill for calculations problem solving skills to understand problem and provide the best solution for that need not to be accurate but the nearest solution computer and technical skills decision making skills organizing and planning skills team work skills social skills adaptability skills and basic business skills now some of them some information you will find from the books but skills are basically practices practice makes perfect so you need to observe you need to work practically and once you are working practical then you will come out the significance of these skills now explain techniques that will improve your potential for becoming an entrepreneur you can improve your potential by strengthening your entrepreneurial characteristics by thinking and acting like an achiever and by developing your skills so entrepreneurial skills basically based on your behavior or based on your attitude and if you are observing others if you are learning from others if you have that attitude to learn then i believe you could be a successful entrepreneur but simultaneously you have to have good iq you know good decision making techniques and the value of money finance marketing human resource and 
the technology also. For example, suppose you have one milk plant. You are going to establish. I am talking about one, one, one example. Suppose someone has started a milk plant where ten thousand bottles are going to pack every day. It may not be milk, maybe juice or anything. Just for example, ten thousand bottles every day. The plant cost is ten crore rupees. Now. when you are establishing this plant you have to think about it based on your market survey how many bottles are required per day what kind of inventory is required for upcoming days maybe for 3 days 4 days suppose you are able to sell 10000 bottles in a day are you able to have second shift also to produce one more 10000 bottles and what will happen when your demand will increase maybe 20000 30000 bottles are we able to extend our manufacturing unit the manufacturing unit is based on that technique you can go for the extension or you need to have one more plant separate plant now whether you have to have integrated plant or you have to have one more plant in another city these are the decisions for example you are constructing a building in future how many stories required today you may be looking for only three story so that is why you have put up the foundation for three story but later on you want to construct three more stories but maybe three more stories after 20 years then fine the kind of raw material you have used the kind of construction technique you have adopted but suppose if you need within 3 to 4 4 year then it is very difficult to abolish same building and to construct one more building that will be difficult and very expensive also yes after 20 year or 30 year yes then it is possible so these type of decision making is very very important so you can improve your potential by strengthening your entrepreneurial characteristics by thinking and acting like an achiever you have to think like a achiever you have to act like a achiever and then develop your skills so with these words i would like to sum up my presentation here and i open forum for your question answer please sir bichu kya hua Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. So now forum is open, and I believe uh, uh, good attendance. I can see like the forty plus are available from the different branches. I think so. Uh, they are welcome to ask any question yes sir any question from the student aap hindi mein puchna chahe hindi mein puchiye dariye mat ghabraiye mat bahut achhi baat hai aap kisi mein bhi puchiye mujhe it may not be related to your branch or your but you can have some idea aapko future mein kuch karna hai aapko abhi kuch karna hai aap job ki jagah kuch business mein jana chahte hain कब जाना चाहिए कैसे जाना चाहिए कैन डिस्कस विद मी नो प्रॉब्लम यस यू यू वांट टू आस्क समथिंग सर ने बहुत अच्छा समझाया वैसे <laughs> नहीं देखिए पढ़ाना अलग बात हो जाती है लेकिन उसमें क्रॉस क्वेश्चन करना एक अलग बात हो जाती है तो जैसा मैंने बताया कि ये बिल्कुल डिफरेंट टर्मिनोलॉजी है बिजनेस जो हम करते हैं वो एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप नहीं है बिजनेस का मतलब होता है कि एक एग्जिस्टिंग बिजनेस आपने किसी को देखा वो भी बिजनेस कर रहा है आपने उसी बिजनेस को अडॉप्ट किया वो प्रॉफिट मेकिंग बिजनेस है आपने उसको काम करने लग गए वो एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप नहीं है एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप का मतलब होता है कोई यूनिक बिजनेस करना कुछ नया बिजनेस करना जैसे आपने देखा होगा कि पहले इंडियन पोस्टल सर्विसेज थी और हम उसी से सारी पोस्ट भेजते थे बाद में कुरियर आया तो जिस किसी ने कुरियर को लॉन्च किया वो एक एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप हुआ 
वहां रिस्क थी कि वो फेल हो जाता क्योंकि लोग ट्रस्ट करते थे केवल गवर्नमेंट सर्विसेज में प्राइवेट में ट्रस्ट नहीं करते थे लोगों को लगता था कि हाँ ये हमारा सामान लेके भाग जाएगा पता नहीं हमारा पार्सल ढंग से पहुंचेगा कि नहीं पहुंचेगा ये प्रॉमिस कर रहा है दो दिन में पता नहीं जाएगा या नहीं जाएगा वो रिस्क था और उसने उसको रिस्क को ओवरकम किया और साथ में उसका चार्ज भी लिया स्लोली वो बिजनेस खड़ा हुआ और आज देखिए बहुत सारी कंपनियां यू वोट बिलीव थाउजेंड करोड़ से ज्यादा का कुरियर बिजनेस है देश में छोटी छोटी कंपनियों का बड़ी कंपनियों का मैं काउंट नहीं कर रहा डीएचएल और यूपीएस और ओवरनाइट जो सर्विसेज है उनको मैं काउंट नहीं कर रहा ना मैं गवर्नमेंट सर्विसेज को कर रहा हूं लेकिन उसका कितना बड़ा ट्रेड है आप देखिए ओयो होटल है वहां पर जो रितेश अग्रवाल हैं उन्होंने क्या किया उन्होंने बेसिकली ये देखा कि होटल की कोर कॉम्पिटेंसी क्या होती है एक होटल में क्या चाहिए आपको होटल वर वेरी एक्सपेंसिव उनको लगा कि जो बिल्कुल बेसिक होटल फैसिलिटीज अगर हम दें तो होटल बिजनेस बढ़ सकता है उन्होंने टारगेट किसको किया उन्होंने टारगेट किया धर्मशाला को और जो हॉलीडे होम थे छोटे उनको वहां के कस्टमर को हम होटल में कैसे ले जाए तो उन्होंने उसको ओयो रेटिंग देना शुरू किया ओयो रेटिंग में क्या होता था बेसिकली वो कहते थे नहाने के लिए गर्म ठंडा पानी साबुन शावर एयर कंडीशन साफ सुथरा बेड क्लीन बेडशीट्स हाइजीन होना चाहिए और एक खाने के लिए वहां पर थाली या नाश्ता अवेलेबल होना चाहिए अगर ये सारी चीजें तो उन्होंने उसको ओयो ब्रांड दे दिया और वो रेंज आती थी थाउजेंड रुपीज में बहुत बिजनेस बढ़ गया आप देखिए सॉफ्ट बैंक जापान का जो है उसने उस स्टार्टअप को फंड किया तो ये एक बेसिकली इनोवेटिव आइडिया था उन्होंने एक गैप को देखा जो कि होटल इंडस्ट्री में था अब उनका इन्वेस्टमेंट कुछ नहीं है उन्होंने केवल ये कहा कि ये पैरामीटर्स हैं आप अपनी होटल में इंट्रोड्यूस करिए हम आपको ओयो का ब्रांड देंगे शुरू हुआ तो इस तरह से आप किसी की भी केस स्टडी को आप समझ समझ सकते हैं जैसे मान लीजिए फूड डिलीवरी सिस्टम है क्यों हुआ बहुत सारे लोग सोचते थे कि रेस्टोरेंट में जाके खाना खाएंगे एक्सपेंसिव होगा पार्किंग की फैसिलिटी नहीं है रेस्टोरेंट की कैपेसिटी 50 लोगों की है 100 लोग आ गए तो क्या होगा एक छोटी जगह में उसने थाउजेंड रुपीज की थाउजेंड का बिजनेस कर लिया और एक बड़े रेस्टोरेंट में भी आप थाउजेंड का बिजनेस नहीं कर सकते थे तो ये सारी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एक्सरसाइज है जो कि एक एंटरप्रन ने की और उसने अचीव किया और वो आगे बढ़ गया जी सर वेरी नाइस सेशन सर आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक यू Thank you for the nice session. Or uh, I hope our student enjoy it and they learn it. And uh, we will have a uh, in-person session also, offline session also, so that we can have a more interaction. Sure, sure, madam. मेरे को आपने invite किया. Actually, NIT Uttarakhand में कल है ये session. जी. तो मेरे पास वो ready भी था. मुझे कहा तो मैंने कहा क्यों नहीं? मैं Jaipur का पहले house बनता है. उत्तराखंड का बाद में जी जी बिल्कुल थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच ओके ओके मैडम थैंक यू ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट फॉर टू बी हियर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू मैडम थैंक यू